Welcome back everyone, and presently I'm making my end of the year video. I realize that it's past halfway in in the year, but by the time I upload this video, it may be the end of the year. I have a plethora of videos and a myriad of videos that I have yet to upload, so I'll just upload this video whenever I get around to it. Unfortunately, I'm recording with my camera now, so I'm unable to edit this specific video file unless I get Sony Vegas, but I don't want to dump any more money into my computer, and that's what we're going to talk about today, computers and expenses, and items that I plan on buying at the end of this year. Now, when I make these lists, these are items that I plan on buying at near full retail value without waiting a tremendous amount of time before I purchase them. Therefore, I'll purchase them when they're relatively new. I usually buy a, a plethora of other items throughout the year, and a tremendous amount of video games that have severely, that are severely reduced in price. So I usually wait until a video game is ten dollars, and then I'll wind up picking it up. So, what I wanted to get at was the major expense first. I'm planning on getting a, I possibly may get a three thousand dollar custom made computer. I'm not 100 percent sure yet if I want to spend all the money on a computer though, because it is a fortune. But if I got this computer, I'd actually be able to edit my videos, play video games on my computer without getting lag, be able to edit videos, be able to run a plethora of software programs such as Adobe Photoshop, Sony Vegas without getting lag, and I could actually create quality videos. I could cut out a bunch of this extra footage that is just boring to witness. So, I'm assuming that I'm going to get this computer, and if I don't, then I'm just going to make videos with my video camera that are unedited. I can still make videos, but they're not going to be quality videos. Essentially, right now, what I'm doing is I'm making a video with raw footage. Alright, the next item on my buying list was the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition. The game will probably be similar to Alien vs. Predator, which wasn't an excellent game. But... If it is an improvement though, then it would probably be worthwhile to purchase. The Clicker's Edition, I think it was a statue, and maybe it was a soundtrack or a book. I'm not 100 sure, but I do like the statues. The next item I will probably want to purchase and when it comes out is a Wii U. Now, fortunately, they have the Pro Controller. I'll probably purchase that as well. And hopefully all the games will be compatible with it. If not, and they force motion controls, then I may disregard getting the Wii U as tempting as it might be to play the new Super Smash Brothers game. I guess it would have to wait. The Street Fighter 25th Adversary Collector's Edition is another item I'm planning on purchasing. It comes with a plethora of soundtracks and it comes with four Street Fighter games which I already have. Super Street Fighter and I think I have another one that it comes with. Actually, no, never mind. I only have one of them, but it has a Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition. I have the game Super Street Fighter. The other two, I think, are Street Fighter 2 HD Turbo and Street Fighter 2 HD Turbo Remix, and then the other one, I think, is Tekken vs. Street Fighter. I don't have that game, but I think the Anniversary Edition will come with a DLC as well as a headband, a statue, and, a, and I think 11 soundtracks. So, or 11 s soundtracks on 11 separate discs. So it'll probably be worthwhile to purchase, especially considering that the statue can light up. The God of War Ascension Collector's Edition comes as a statue of Kratos. I think it's $80 on Amazon.com. I'll probably want to purchase from that. God of War is a adequate series for $10, but I do like the statue, so that's the main reason I'm getting the Collector's Edition. I'll probably want to get a Halo 4. I doubt I'll get the Collector's Edition. It doesn't come as a statue, so I'm not going to pay an extra $40 for a book. I'll probably get another copy of Lord of the Rings, Riders of Rohan. I already have one version, but I'll probably get another one for my second account. I'll probably get Luigi's Mansion 2 for the 3DS. I also probably want to get in Kingdom Hearts for the 3DS. It's called Dream Drop Distance. And then I'll probably also want to get in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which is similar to Super Smash Brothers, and it's supposed to have similar fighting mechanics. And another system I was planning again and possibly in the future than NES. I'll just write that down on the list real quick and possibly some Nintendo 64 games. Now other than what I listed, 
like I said earlier, the items that I will probably want to buy, I'll probably wait until they're drastically reduced in price, but that seems to be nearly it. And it's a small list, but the items are expensive, and they could range anywhere from 100 the standard collector's edition costs anywhere from 100 and ten dollars to 100, nearly 160 dollars, so it is expensive. But I do have the arcade sticks, and I have room to display the statues, so I think it's a worthwhile purchase if I can get a decent one that comes with a decent game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Sun and Out. Have a great day.